Imagine a temperature so high that it defies our understanding of physics. Could such a limit exist? This is the question we'll explore today. Temperature, as we commonly understand it, is a measure of the average kinetic energy of particles. It's the reason why a cup of hot tea feels different from a snowflake, why the surface of the sun is a no-go zone, and why absolute zero at minus 273.15 degrees Celsius represents the state where all motion stops. Yet, in the vast cosmic theatre, temperatures can reach astounding heights far beyond anything we could fathom here on Earth. Enter the concept of the Planck temperature. Named after Max Planck, the father of quantum theory, the Planck temperature is considered the theoretical maximum temperature in the universe. It's an unfathomably high figure, standing at 1.416808, followed by 32 zeros in Kelvin. That's hotter than the core of the hottest star, hotter than the most energetic supernova, hotter than anything we can currently comprehend. The road to understanding the Planck temperature is paved with fascinating physics. It's a journey that takes us beyond the familiar territories of classical physics and thermodynamics into the realm of quantum mechanics and string theory. It's a journey that challenges our understanding of the fundamental nature of reality itself. But what does it mean to reach this theoretical maximum? What would such extreme conditions imply for the laws of physics as we know them? Would they hold up or would they crumble under the intense heat? Could our understanding of the universe withstand such extreme conditions, or would it melt away, leaving us in a sea of unknowns? But what happens when we reach this unimaginable limit? Let's delve deeper. The Planck temperature, named after physicist Max Planck, is a mind-boggling 1.416808 times 10 to the power of 32 Kelvin. It's so hot that our usual laws of physics simply do not apply. Now let's delve a little deeper into the Planck temperature. In the realm of quantum mechanics, the Planck temperature is the highest theoretically possible temperature beyond which the effects of quantum gravity become significant. At this temperature, we believe that effects due to quantum mechanics and gravity must be considered together. This field known as quantum gravity is largely speculative because we do not yet have a theory that successfully unifies these two fundamental aspects of our understanding of the universe. The Planck temperature is derived from the Planck constant, the speed of light, and the Boltzmann constant, among others. These constants are fundamental to our understanding of the universe, and the Planck temperature derived from them gives us a limit to what we can currently comprehend in terms of heat and energy. But what does this mean practically? Well, let's put it this way. When we talk about temperatures nearing the Planck temperature, we're venturing into a realm where the known laws of physics, the very equations that predict the behavior of particles, govern the forces of nature, and essentially make our universe what it is, break down. This isn't a gradual change either. The laws don't slowly stop working. Rather, they simply don't apply once we hit this temperature. This doesn't mean the universe implodes or anything dramatic like that. Instead, it signifies a boundary to our current understanding of physics. It's a line in the cosmic sand, a challenge, if you will, daring us to cross it and venture into the unknown. So if we can't use our usual physics to understand the Planck temperature, what can we use? This question is one of the most exciting and daunting challenges facing physicists today. It's a puzzle that continues to inspire and drive the quest for knowledge in the realm of quantum mechanics and beyond. As we venture beyond the Planck temperature, we enter the realm of quantum gravity. Here, our understanding of the universe is turned on its head. In this domain, the rules of classical physics bow to the enigmatic principles of quantum mechanics and general relativity. These two pillars of modern physics, while seemingly incompatible, merge into an enthralling theory known as quantum gravity. Quantum gravity, in essence, attempts to describe gravity according to the principles of quantum mechanics. It's a fascinating field, painting a picture of the universe that's both abstract and compelling. In this realm, space-time is not a continuous fabric, but a froth of quantum particles, or quanta, that are constantly fluctuating. This quantum foam, as it's called, is thought to dominate the universe at the tiniest of scales, the Planck scale, where the effects of uh, quantum gravity become significant. It is at this level that we believe the universe operates on a kind of quantum code, a code that we are yet to fully decipher. 
Now, what does this have to do with temperature, you might ask? Well, in a universe dominated by quantum gravity, the concept of temperature itself becomes fuzzy. Just as the certainty of position and momentum is disrupted in quantum mechanics, so too is our understanding of temperature at these extreme scales. The Planck temperature, estimated to be around 100 million 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 degrees, is considered the maximum possible temperature by some scientists. Beyond this point, the concept of hotter or colder may lose its meaning as we know it. However, this is where the beauty of science shines through. Despite the complexities and the uncertainties, our pursuit of knowledge remains undeterred. Theories such as string theory, loop quantum gravity, and others are pushing the boundaries of our understanding, trying to unlock the secrets of quantum gravity and what lies beyond the Planck temperature. So, is there really an upper limit to temperature, or is it just another frontier for us to explore? Scene script. Let's contemplate the implications of a maximum temperature. What would it mean for our universe if there really is a limit? Imagine a universe where the concept of too hot is not just a discomforting summer day, but a law of nature, an absolute ceiling that cannot be breached. This would mean the universe itself could have a finite lifespan or size, as the universe continues to expand, the average temperature drops. However, a maximum temperature could imply a boundary, a point at which the universe can no longer expand without violating this thermal limit. Now, let's turn our gaze to the celestial bodies that light up our night sky. Stars. The life cycle of a star is fundamentally a battle against gravity, fueled by nuclear reactions that generate heat. If there were a maximum temperature, could this limit the size or lifespan of a star? Could it mean that a star could only grow so large, burn so bright, or live so long before it hit this thermal wall? And what about the grand cosmic structures? Galaxies? The formation of galaxies is a complex ballet of gas, dust, dark matter, and energy. If there were a maximum temperature, how might this affect the birth and evolution of galaxies? Could it restrict the types and sizes of galaxies that could form? Could it alter the very fabric of the universe as we know it? But let's not forget. These are all speculative implications. It's important to remember that the concept of a maximum temperature is deeply rooted in theories that are still being tested and refined. We're venturing into the uncharted territories of quantum gravity, string theory, and beyond. So, while the idea of a maximum temperature is tantalizing, it's also humbling. It's a stark reminder of how much we don't know, of the mysteries that still await us in the vast cosmic ocean, and it's a testament to our unyielding quest for knowledge, our relentless pursuit to understand the universe and our place within it. While the concept of a maximum temperature is fascinating, it's clear that we still have much to learn. So, is there an upper limit to temperature? The answer, like many things in the realm of astrophysics, is both yes and no. Isn't it fascinating that something as seemingly straightforward as temperature can become so complex when we delve into the extremes? To summarize, the Planck temperature, a staggering 143 octillion degrees Celsius, is the theoretical maximum, beyond which the laws of physics as we know them start to break down. This is where we enter the realm of quantum gravity, a territory still largely uncharted. Yet our understanding of physics is ever-evolving, and who knows what discoveries lie ahead. This theoretical limit may be surpassed as we continue to push the boundaries of our collective knowledge. In the quest to understand our universe, the question of a maximum temperature opens up a world of possibilities. It's a reminder that in science, there are always more questions to be answered.